Hello, today's gonna be a short little video. I was going ahead and revamping my elevator tutorial series for Unreal Engine, where I'm gonna have you teleport between two elevators seamlessly, but I thought making this mesh, I have been doing this for years, and it took me a bit to figure out how to do it, so I thought I'd just show you how to make any mesh go into Unreal Engine from Blender. First of all, I have this elevator here, but let's go ahead and just get this cube here. Now, uh, with this cube centered on the middle, I have a SKM Manny here, and if you need me to show you, I can detail in the comments as well how to do it. But basically, having this Manny, uh, you can export from Unreal Engine the Manny skeleton, and then you just remove the skeleton from him, and then immediately you'll have a scaled mesh to base everything on, and that's how I based this elevator. So. After having Manny in there and scaling your object, let's just go with this cube here. Go ahead and name your object. So I'm just gonna do SM for static mesh underscore cube. Now having this cube here, the way that Unreal Engine works, let me center my cursor here. So the way Unreal Engine works is this cursor here in Blender is normally the point of movement on the object. However, the way it works with Unreal Engine is however the object is placed to the center of the world is where the cursor will be. So like, for example, if I imported this to Unreal Engine right now, the world, uh, the origin of the object would be the center. However, let's say I go ahead and choose this point here and then make that um, the new point. By moving it like this, now the center right here on this point will be the new origin of the object. So it would move kind of like this in Unreal Engine. Um, so the way to kind of look at it, uh, let's go ahead and delete this here. I'm gonna make a plane, I'm gonna move it here. The way to kind of look at it is the way that a lot of people will make walls that snap seamlessly will be that they'll choose a corner either left or right. I normally go with this corner here. You'll press, you'll, you'll click on the vertex there, and you'll do Shift S, and that will open up this menu here. You do cursor to selected, it will move the cursor to there. Now go ahead and get out of edit mode here, and you're gonna choose the object here. You're gonna do set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Your origin will now be on that object. So if you just center out here and zero it, now the object's point will be right here in Unreal Engine. So. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on increment snapping. So we're gonna go ahead and click this magnet here, drop it down, make sure it's on increment and closest. So it will snap kind of the way the uh, Unreal Engine's grid snapping does. We'll press Shift D with the object selected and then click to put it in place. And now by dragging it, it will snap. So now you kind of get the idea of how these walls will seamlessly move in Unreal Engine. So anytime, whether it's a doorway, I'll go ahead and create a doorway real quick just so I can kind of show you. So whether it's a doorway or whatever, Make sure that the snapping object is always right there and it will import to Unreal Engine allowing for seamless uh, movement in between the assets that you're making. Now I'm gonna go ahead here and delete these and use my elevator as an example here. But with my elevator here, if you go ahead here to the top right, these two circles and click this drop down here, you're gonna go ahead and find this menu. On the very bottom, you're gonna find face orientation. Now, before you export your model, you want to turn on face orientation, just because this is kind of showing where the faces will be on the object. So what that means is that the blue is what will be visible, because a plane can only face one way. Uh, so the blue is what will be visible, the red will be hidden. So anything red in Unreal Engine will be invisible. So meaning if you're inside this elevator with it blue, then you will be able to see the elevator from this side. However, if you stood above the elevator, it would be invisible. So for example, if I took this plane here and I pressed Alt plus N, it will open up the normals map. Uh, go ahead and click flip, and that's how you flip them. Or you can do this and do recalculate, and it will automatically recalculate it for you. Um, so if this was flipped on red, then we would actually be able to see directly through the elevator, it would be invisible. So we wanna make sure that the inside is blue. It's just a lot of tweaking, messing around, but you make sure that faces are oriented the right way you want, or it'll get a bit screwy in Unreal Engine. Now the final thing here, of course, is going to be UVs. So UVs, if you wanna do it a really quick way, if you use something like Substance Painter, where you can use different things where you can have really crappy UVs but have it still turn out okay. You just 
click tab, press A to select all, press U, and you choose unwrap and you do smart UV project and unwrap. And by doing that, it's gonna go ahead and make its own grid. It may not be the best UVs you've ever seen in your life, but if you have a smart material with Unreal Engine that doesn't really care about UVs too much, then that will work. Uh, however, I do recommend you make your own UVs and watch your own tutorial on that to kind of get a better understanding of UVs because it is important to know with game design. Um, and if you master it, which I have not mastered it yet, um, if you have mastered it, then it'll make your life a lot easier. So after this, you're gonna go ahead and click layout again. After everything is ready, make sure they are all centered. So I'm gonna do that with my door too. Make sure they are absolutely all centered because that's the way the origin will work. Click on your object, do file, export, FBX. Now, if you don't see FBX here, you can go into edit and preferences. And I believe that there is one that turns on FBX. Yes, you'll just enable this FBX format in preferences, add-ons, it'll work. So click on it, file, export, FBX. Then you're just gonna choose somewhere on your desktop or wherever you may wanna save it. You're gonna name it. I'm gonna leave mine as elevator FBX. You're gonna choose selected objects. Then you're gonna scroll down, uncheck animation so it doesn't uh, export any animation data. Then you're gonna drop down this geometry here. Change it from smoothing to normals only to face and that's all the settings you need to change. Then click export here and it will take it to your desktop and then you can import it to Unreal Engine as a static mesh and it will work perfectly. Again, I just wanted to make this really quick video showcasing something I've known for years, something I needed to figure out so that way I can help you out and I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing night.